In this video, I'll be demonstrating the effects of a switch spoofing attack against a Cisco 2950 switch when launched from a virtualized environment. In this scenario, the attacker will be using a Kali 2.0 virtual machine hosted within the VMware vSphere ESXi 6.0 environment using the standard ESXi virtual switch. First, let's take a look at the Cisco 2950 switch configuration for the port that the ESXi host is connected to. If we look on the switch console and type show int fa 0-21, which is the port the ESXi host is connected to, and we check the status of that port, we'll see that it's just set to the default setting um, on VLAN 1. So the switch hasn't been configured beyond default settings for this port. It's still using dynamic desirable mode for the trunking mode. And in this case, there isn't a trunk established. Uh, we can verify that by using show int FA021 trunk to see that indeed the port is not using trunking at this, at the, this moment. Um, and the mode is set to auto. Okay, over here we see the VM uh, machine properties for the Kali virtual machine. If we look at the network adapter setting, we have it on our isolated VLAN test network, which is connected to an uplink port on the switch, uh, which we just checked the configuration over here on the Cisco console. Now let's check the networking settings for the VMware vSphere environment. Down here we have our VM test network uh, with our Kali virtual machine connected to it. If we click properties here, and VM network, we'll notice that we have no VLAN ID configured for this network. So it's just set up as a standard connection um, to the switch. Okay, let's check out the virtual machine now. If we go over and check the console, what we're gonna try to do now is uh, use this Yersinia program um, to actually force the port on the Cisco switch to go into a trunking mode. And we'll see if this works. To start the program, we just type Yersinia minus I. This puts us into the command prompt mode. Uh, we're going to select the default network interface of E0, so we'll just hit enter. And now what we're going to do is type G, bring up the attack menu, and select DTP mode, dynamic trunking protocol. And then we're going to hit X and 1 to try to enable trunking on this interface. And we can see here that we successfully actually put the switch port into trunk mode. Over on the switch, we see the line protocol changing to down and then back to up again. And if we go over here and type show int FA021 status again, we'll notice now that the VLAN is indeed set up as a trunk. And if we type show int FA021 trunk, we'll see now that the status is actually set to trunking. So the attack was successful in the ESXi environment through the standard virtual switch.